All right, if you've been following this story, absolutely a tragic ending to a month-long search for a missing Maryland teacher. Police say um, they have just announced the arrest in the gruesome murder of a beloved second-grade teacher. Her name is Miriam Turecila. She was last seen uh, July 29th near a park where she went for her daily walk every evening. She never returned that night. Her body was later found 20 miles away and later confirmed by DNA. Police say that she was killed by a man she never even knew, Harold Francis Landon, the man on your screen. Um, he now faces first-degree murder and other charges. Police say Landon was in the park at the time of Sila's disappearance, and his white pickup truck helped to identify him. Right now, however, the motive is unclear. Landon III is due in court tomorrow. Joining me now is criminologist Debbie Goodman. Thank you so much for being here. You know, it's, it, Dr. Goodman, this is, it's so gruesome when you look at this story. And it's something that we really haven't had a lot of updates on. Can you tell us why maybe authorities were tight-lipped in this investigation? Certainly. Good afternoon, Elizabeth. My pleasure to join you. Uh, this case, I mean, this individual is so disturbed, so depraved, yet the good news is, is we have somebody in custody. Um, police representatives generally don't want to say too much at the beginning when it's such a high-profile case, a, a beloved individual, a second-grade teacher, they want to make sure that they're very dutiful and diligent in the entirety and totality of the fact-finding process. And, and so as a criminologist, I, I always ask the question of why, and, and that's the question that most citizens ask me, why would somebody do such a, such a terrible crime and, and commit such a heinous murder? And, and if you like, Elizabeth, I can, um, you know, go into that in a moment, but because these yeah, two- Yeah, I would, and if I may, you know, for, if I may interrupt you, so I, I, we have a timeline for some of our viewers. She initially went missing July 29th. Um, her remains, of course, obviously, family and friends were worried immediately. She went on an evening walk every night, as you mentioned, a beloved teacher, 20 years. Um, August 1st, they discovered her remains, and then the arrest came later, and the charges not until just days ago. Uh, of course, I would like you to get into s s behind the scenes evidence that you've seen and all the work that you've done. And I also want you to touch on some of the charges that we're seeing, because I'm seeing first and second degree charges. So for me at home, I'm sort of curious, you know, what, what do they possibly know? Yes, um, so those are great questions and, and I'll address them. When we talk about a first degree murder, Elizabeth, four elements are present according to the district attorney and that would be it was planned, it was premeditated, it was willful and it was with malice. So in addressing that, I would also like the viewers to be mindful that insanity in our field of criminal justice is very rare. And I do not think this individual is insane. Why? Because he knew what he was doing. And as, as depraved and disturbed as this individual and case would be, the fact that he participated in the dismemberment, in the decapitation, suggests to me as a criminologist that he didn't want to get caught. And if and when this case goes to trial, that's going to be a very important point for the prosecution to demonstrate this individual's mindset. And even these, these heinous aftermath crimes, if you will, of the dismemberment, those two will be um, considered aggravating conditions, the tampering with evidence and, and decapitation and dismemberment unto themselves are, are crimes themselves. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.